Hello everyone, I hope all of you are doing well. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the first question of GS Mains Paper 2 2022. I'm not only going to answer this question for you, but I'm also going to help you to brainstorm this question. I'm going to help you to figure out how to study for these kind of questions. And I'm going to also help you to figure out how to time it, how what kind of a pen you can use and exactly how you should go about studying for these kind of topics because UPSC paper this time is a little bit different and it is focusing a lot on very, very important questions that are facing nowadays. Uh, related to the constitution, the supreme court, judgments related to current affairs, technology, economic questions. It is important for you to understand the holistic preparation that you need to do for UPSC will not only include just studying for a current affair but thinking about it in a wider aspect. So I'm going to discuss all these various things. So first of all, first of all, let us get done with the basics. Any watch you can use with a timer because it is very important for you to be able to time your entire paper well. See, normally in a UPSC paper, what you will get is, you will get a total of 180 minutes. Okay, there are three hours. So three hours is 180 minutes. So you will get 180 minutes to complete your paper. Total 20 questions is asked. And there are two types of questions normally, 10 markers and 15 markers. These 10 markers are supposed to be around 150 words. And these 15 markers are supposed to be around 250 words. So let's say the way I do my math is let's say you are able to write one question in eight minutes. You are able to write around 150 275 words in eight minutes then in how many minutes you know will you be able to finish these 10 markers how many 10 markers are there 10 10 markers and 10 15 markers all right 10 mark 10 marker 10 questions and if you take around eight minutes for every question you will do them in 80 minutes right similarly 15 markers there are 10 questions and if you do these each of them in 12 minutes in 120 minutes the so total aapka kitna 200 minutes and you have 200 and sorry 180 minutes so obviously this is more this is 20 um, this is 20 minutes more so you need to de do these in i think 7 minutes so ye 70 minute ho jayega or these in 11 minutes so ye 110 minutes ho jayega so you should be able to finish basically 10 markers in 7 minutes because there are 10 questions so you will be able to do them in 70 minutes approximately and then you should be able to do your 15 markers which are 10 questions in 110 minutes which is 11 minutes for each question so if you use a timer if you use a watch and ensure that when you are practicing, you are doing each 10 marker in approximately 7 minutes. You can take 8 minutes also because some questions you will not know that well. So you will take less time, right? Her question will not be 7 minutes. Mein ho sakta. That is not going to happen. So approximately 7 minutes is what you should target. So I used to practice like this. Whenever I used to practice these questions at my home or whenever I used to do test series, this is how I used to practice. I used to take down a timer time the asked amount I'm taking and try to make sure that I'm doing it in seven minutes. Then I used to move on to the next question and try to finish that in seven minutes. The pen I use is simple uniball pen, blue pen, best. Hai. Don't try to use black pen, yellow pen, whatever different kind of pens. You can use the same for underlining. You can use a pencil for underlining after you have written the question or pencil for drawing a diagram. But more than that, don't try to use many sketch pens or something. So now let us move towards brainstorming of this particular question. Here the question is constitutional morality is rooted in the constitution itself and is founded on its essential facets. Explain the doctrine of constitutional morality with the help of relevant judicial decisions. Now here the question is a statement. UPSC does this. It provides a statement normally in every question except some questions and then it follows with the actual question so this is the actual this is the actual question here which the upsc is asking you that explain karo ki doctrine of constitutional morality kya hai what is the constitutional morality doctrine with the help of various judicial decisions so you have to of course give examples of judicial decisions. so here basically what are the keywords constitutional morality right and judicial decisions various judicial decisions supreme court decisions high court decisions so you have to define constitutional morality and you have to explain it through the use of some constitutional uh, or judicial decisions by the supreme court 
this statement doesn't really matter that much because you have only seven minutes to answer the question only seven minutes you have only 150 words and you have to write almost at least 18 to 19 questions right out of those 20 do you think you have the time to actually go ahead and delve too much into this statement no UPSC is asking you a question go ahead and answer this question so one of my top things would be I would directly go into the question by reading the statement and then quickly reading the question what it is asking and then I would not worry about the statement I would in these kind of questions my strategy would also be that whenever they are asking to explain some concept let's say in this example constitutional morality I would just go ahead and define that particular statement uh, but that particular concept I would not go into giving the context or trying to explain what happened and how constitutional morality came to be all that is not required get right into the details because you have only 150 words get right into the details so of course I'm assuming that you have read about this this was in news over the last two years a lot because a lot of Supreme Court judgments use this particular term in their judgments and it also came in a few news articles in the Hindu a lot of uh, top lawmakers and Supreme Court judges also use this terminology so that's why UPSC has pulled out this question so how would I go about and writing this question assuming that I know about it then this is how I would answer this question like I said first number one is just define go ahead and define so I would go ahead and straight away define what constitutional morality is ok I forgot to do this so constitutional morality definition likhunga mein sabse pehle can be defined as the process of sticking to the fundamental constitutional principles and values okay these include or in fact I would you know normally what I would do is I would these include go to the next so I would normally go to the next paragraph because then it is easier to read also so these include um, democracy values such as democracy equality socialism liberty and so on so first of all I have defined kar diya. what is a constitutional morality constitutional morality can be defined as the process of sticking to the fundamental constitutional principles and values basically even if you don't know what constitutional morality is the word itself defines it morality simply means that you are ensuring that there is a difference between right and wrong so constitutional principles and values that we ensure that we are sticking to the rights the right things in the constitution that are given such as equality democracy socialism etc so that is what constitutional morality is now this is not defined by the supreme court this is my own interpretation from readings i have done so sometimes you have to do that but i am using a lot of keywords here notice the second thing you should do is the second thing you should do is keywords use keywords in your answers here I am defining in my own words but I am using various keywords also that is very important ok now I will move on to the actual uh, body of the question answer this doctrine can be explained in the following ways and then bracket may I will write what is given in the question through various judgments judicial decisions right this doctrine can be explained in the following ways number one Kesavananda Bharti case 
Now, in my one of my videos, I have told you that you should know all the important Supreme Court cases. And here, in these kind of questions, at least three, four questions, your Supreme Court case knowledge will come into play. You don't have to know so many cases. Just know four, five important cases. Case one and the Minerva Mills case. These are very important cases, and these always come and help you. So, case one and the Bharati case is a big case. It can be used in so many different answers. So I would um, request you to read this. So this judgment limited the power of the parliament by protecting constitution basic structure from amendment hence now here see I have explained what this case is and then I am linking it to the questions basic part which is constitutional morality this is important hence it defined constitutional morality that there is a limit to the power of the government vis a vis the constitution see at the end of the day the basic role of the constitution is to limit the power of the government and that is what it did in this particular case one on the Bharti case by defining the basic structure so I'm going to box this also so I have not only told you what the case was but also connected it with constitutional morality simple straightforward approach hai, jada hi -fi hai. but basics Straightforward basics will be clear. That's why you will include all of your studies in your studies. You will be good for the fundamentals. Then second, I am going to talk about the Sabari Mala judgment. Sorry, my spelling is wrong. Pardon me because I am not in practice. I am not in practice. I am not in practice. The Supreme Court gave a new definition to constitutional morality now again I am directly going into constitutional I could tell you what was the judgment of Sabari Mala but I don't have time so I am jumping into constitutional morality and I will tie up it by balancing right uh, to freedom of religion and right to equality in this Sabari Mala Sabari Mala Sabri Mala Sabari Mala sorry agar mein mispronounce kar raha tha judgment okay itna hi pata hai up to be honest, I don't think you might know a lot more about this particular judgment. Even I don't know. And you might not have read about it so deeply. But it is important that you sort of uh, still write about it because it is relevant here. You can pick other judgments also. I pick these judgments, but you can pick other judgments also. Okay. Then the next is right to... Then I can write about one more if the time allows. So right to privacy judgment. But it will be 200 words. So I leave it up to you. Okay, so today some of you post in your comments what will you write about right to privacy judgment in context with this question. Okay, you as aspirant should do this. And maybe I will comment on some of you so that I will give you feedback. Okay, and then conclusion kya likho ge aap mujhe batao. Conclusion mein normally I will 
conclude on the basis of what I have written so far. So I will give you a hint. So it can be seen from above Supreme Court judgments that so and so, so and so. So so and so, जो है, वो black and black and एक blank है, वो आप भर के मुझे दिखाओ. Then I will post it in my comment afterwards so that you can get an understanding of what I mean. Okay, so I hope you are able to understand. This is a seemingly difficult question, but it is very easy. आप सिर्फ डिफाइन करो जो क्वेश्चन में पूछा है ज्यादा हाई फाई चीजें मत करने की कोशिश करो तीन चार लाइंस में डिफाइन करा है फिर बॉडी पे आ गया हूं बॉडी में सीधा एग्जांपल्स में घुस गया हूं आई हैव स्ट्रेट अवे गॉन इन टू द एग्जांपल्स ऑफ वेरियस सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजमेंट्स बिकॉज दैट इज वॉट इट इज आस्किंग एंड थ्रू दम आई एम शोइंग वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल मोरालिटी ओके आई होप दिस हेल्प्स यू टू अंडरस्टैंड माई अप्रोच माई सिंपल अप्रोच एंड मे बी you can also use it to write better okay so thanks a lot let me know if you have any questions time ka to kuch fayda nahi hai rakhne ka and see you later bye